Hey guys, John from John's DIY Playground. Today I wanted to review my installation of the Stromberg Carlson bike bunk here on the front of my trailer. This is a Grand Design Imagine 2600 RB and I have it mated to a Ford F-150 and you can see um, approximately where the hitch point sits up there relative to the tailgate. I was a little concerned about that but I'll show you in a minute how my bike rack looks when it's mounted to it. The other thing I had was concern was how close to mount this rack on the frame. And you can see I am as far back as I can get. I mean, I literally have maybe uh, one inch of clearance there. But once everything is bolted down tight, I mean, it's sturdy. Um, this thing is well built. It can hold up to 100 pounds. I'm gonna be carrying a pair of bikes on here and I'm trying to wiggle it and I'm trying to show you there's, if there's any play, which there really isn't. Um, there's a bolt hole that you have to drill through on the top and on the bottom once everything is secure and in place. That can be a bit of a bear. I would recommend a carbide um, drill bit because it's really strong stuff. Uh, they're not cheap materials here. And so let me get the Rocky mounts bike rack hooked to this so you can see how it looks with that attached. This is the Rocky Mounts 2 bike bike rack. It's in the retracted position and you can see I've got it clipped in here and there's plenty of clearance to the nose cone for that. But the big concern I had is when it was flipped down to hold the bikes, how close is it going to be to that tailgate? So let me show you. And here we go with the rack down. It's actually sitting a little bit taller than the ledge of the tailgate. So going around corners and everything, we will have clearance needed. And this bike rack looks like it's gonna work for us. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will leave a link to where I purchased the bike, um, the bike bunk and the actual um, bike rack itself. Um, those will be Amazon links, and it helps my channel if you click them with no additional cost to you, and I appreciate your support. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and please hit subscribe so you know when new videos of mine come out. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.